About five and a half years ago, I was in a place, it was a residential treatment facility, and I was there because I wasn't right, right with myself and I actually wanted to commit suicide and things were right in the home. I had a rough childhood. I um, myself had struggled with an alcoholic father, um, sexual abuse, physical abuse, um, self-mutilation, addiction, living on the streets. In the communities that our kids come from, they deal with a lot of pressure. They're pushed in a lot of directions. If these people didn't come into my life and weren't empathetic and actually did something about the place that I was at and, you know, helped me be a successful person, then I wouldn't be here right now. We have recognized that there is definitely an issue with sexual exploitation that needs to be addressed. So that really initiated us taking a look at, okay, what's out there? What was really important to me is that the curriculum be relevant. So when we started looking at um, I Empathize, we were really impressed and we really thought, okay, let's try this out. Let's see what the kids think. Let's see how they respond. The feedback I hear from the kids is wow, that's super cool. The way that it was filmed is super cool. And because they use real teenagers that have real problems and that almost everybody can relate with in some way or another, I see the kids just light up with the media and they're like, oh, I understand that, I recognize that. I just made it my passion to tell my story and follow my dreams of being a spoken word poet and letting the world know what I went through. This is what empathy means to me. It's really important to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and to open yourself up to the fact that, you know, other people hurt too, and it's not just about you. Hurt listening to you the idea of empathy, how you care for one another, how one another should be treated. That was real strong in the messaging. It wasn't scare tactics. And that sort of sold me on the deal with I Empathize. I think kids want to feel better. They want to feel empowered. They want to know that they can make a difference in the world. And when we're giving them that information and that little steps on how they can do it and what to identify and what to do about it, they feel great. They have helped you plenty of time. Yes, thank you. Consistency, right? If this curriculum went nationwide in all of the schools, I think we'd see a reduction in not just sexual exploitation, I think we'd see a reduction in exploitation of kids, period. And I think it will strengthen relationships, uh, potentially with law enforcement, with schools, with community agencies. There could be a ripple effect. I feel like the solution, like you guys said, is to empathize to do something about it. Don't just feel sorry for it, actually do something. I'm Carrie and I empathize. My name is Janelle and I empathize. My name is Marty Zaffaroni and I empathize. My name is Olivia Dolin and I empathize. My name is Shelly and I empathize. Who empathize? I empathize.